Hey everyone, welcome back to Newman Guffey with International Ministries. This is Minister Glynn speaking. How are you all doing? I hope you all are having a glorious day. My husband is here again today, Minister Tim. Hello family. So today we're going to continue with um, the Kingdom Marriage video that we did a few days ago. Was it like two days ago, I think? Yeah, that's um, So we're going to ago. continue today. Um, today is going to be like a part two. So if you haven't seen that video, please go back to the channel and listen to it. And that was really just about accepting and um, working with the Lord, accepting who the Lord sends to you as as your godly spouse and working with the lord um to um help that person um heal and just to grow into what the lord um needs them to be um to work for him for the both of you to be able to work together amen so this um video is going to be uh, speaking uh, based on uh, gentleness and a uh, humility and also lovingly accepting your spouse according to God's word in uh, um, Ephesians 4 verse 2, which we're going to read on to you all. So um, first of all, we want to say welcome to any of our first timers. If you're here for the first time, welcome to Newman Godford uh, Ministries. And please click on the subscribe button so that you don't get to miss any of our videos. And to all of our returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here again. God bless you all. To every title, to every uh, giver and so God bless you all too in Jesus' name. So now we're going to pray again because we've already prayed but we're going to pray again with you all as a family and, with, and just welcome the holy spirit and then we're going to get right into the word so minister tim please can you lead a prayer for us thank you darling our heavenly father we thank you we give another glory we thank you for your love for your grace for your mercy we thank you for a time like this oh god we thank you because we are about to give your word out to your people father as your word go out to your people, they will receive it Amen. in your heart in the name of our Lord Amen. Jesus. And your word will transform them and your word will change them forever. Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Amen. Nazareth. Father in heaven, as we are about to talk about kingdom marriage, oh God. Father, let this word make an impact into someone today in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. May this word make a difference into somebody's life today Amen. in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, blessed thank Father. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. Amen. Be that be exalted. Be that be praised forever, Amen. Mommy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise so, God. I'm going to read from um, um, Ephesians 4, verse 2. So, if you have your Bibles, please turn to Ephesians 4, verse 2. And that says, Be humble and gentle in every way. Be patient with each other and lovingly accept each other. Be humble and gentle in every way. Be patient with each other and lovingly accept each other. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, like we said already, this is going to be a part two. And we uh, will uh, focus on being humble, gentle, and loving unto your God. Uh, kingdom spouse and this word will serve as a continuation of our previous video hallelujah it's so wild. um so what this word is really about is just to help those of you that are um, about to go into a kingdom marriage a godly marriage and those of you that are already in marriage um to understand that when it comes to um speaking to your spouse the lord doesn't want you to be disrespectful the lord doesn't want you to be harsh the Lord doesn't want you to be cruel. The Lord wants you to be humble. The Lord wants you to speak to your spouse in a godly manner. The Lord wants you to speak to your spouse in a respectful manner, in a loving manner, in a gentle manner, in a kind manner. Praise God. Amen. Oh, so yeah. that is what we want to encourage you all to do as you are preparing to go into marriage. Because those things, they can, they can cause so much friction. How you speak to your spouse, how you speak to your husband, and how you speak to your wife. If your husband or your wife does something to offend you, or you find out something that they did that upsets you, what you need to do is to calm down and really just do what Jesus would do. Because Christ is not going to come at you, screaming at you because, because you did something wrong yesterday, because you sinned yesterday. He's not going to come screaming at you. So God doesn't want you to be yelling, to be yelling at your spouse. God doesn't want you to be raising your voice at your spouse. God wants you to go to your spouse in a quiet manner with a quiet tone and address the issue at hand. Right, minister? Yes, that's true. God just wants you to be humble um, to your wife or to your husband. God wants you to have this um, calm spirit um, to your partner. Okay, um, you don't need to be um harsh, you don't need to be rude. Okay, 
God bringing both of you together is for his purpose and for his own reason. Okay? So, um, the enemy will surely come um, to attack, you know, because the devil is always out there and looking. That's why the, uh, the Bible says that is it like a rolling lion searching, looking for who to, for who to devour. So, you don't have to give the enemy um, any room to come into your home. Or into your marriage, okay? Because the devil is after marriage. Mm -hmm. Is after um to destroy, cause confusion mm. in so many people' marriage, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, if you are so prayerful and you are closer unto your father, um, you will know when the enemy is coming to attack. Mm. You will yeah. know when the enemy is coming right. to, to to cause confusion right. in your marriage. That's right. So that's why you need to be closer to God. Oh, you have to study your Bible, you have to pray, read your Bible, worship songs. So these things help you. This thing help you so much that you, you're you not going to fall into the ends of the enemy. Okay? Because there are so many marriages today. Um, a lot has been happening in so many marriages. The enemy will be causing confusion in so many marriages. In the sense that he will try to bring one thing. To cause problem, he always like where there's problem to cause problem. Mm. That's why you see the man or the woman most of the time. The woman will be like, you know, shot and screaming at the husband, or the man will be shot and screaming at the woman, mm -hmm. which is the wife. Mm -hmm. You know, any little thing, the man will just pick up like, oh, you know, shot at at at, at, at the woman, at, at his wife, and he not supposed to be that way. Okay. That's why you have to bring your voice in a lovely tune. No matter what, mm -hmm. no matter what she has caused, no matter what she do, what she did to you, you have to come in a lovely tune. You have to um, to be patient. You know? Okay, look at Christ, for example. This was all the things that happened to him. He never screamed at anybody. He never shot at anyone. He was so lovely in that he loved, even when they were persecuting him, but he loved us so much. Amen. Because Christ is love. Yes, that's right. He loved us so much. Mm -hmm. He never uh, um, judged anybody. Mm -hmm. He never like, oh, yana to them or mm -hmm. scream at them. Mm -hmm. No. He was seeing them in the highs of love. Amen. That's the same way you're supposed to see your wife in mm -hmm. the highs of love, no matter what she did. No matter what she 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 do to you, mm. you have to see her in the highs of love. The way Christ will see you Amen. in the highs of love. Amen. You have to love her so much. Amen. Amen. You have to really love her so much because Christ giving her to you is for a purpose. You know, I wonder. Uh, most of the time, I hear people do say that. Oh, my husband, you know, he's beating me at home, and this morning. He will just spark, he will just start, you know, screaming at me. You know, before you know, uh, he will raise up his hand to hit me, you know, start beating me and all that. No, that's wrong. That yeah. is very wrong. Yeah. Christ will never do that. Christ never raised up his hand to hit anyone. He was so calm. He was so lovely. So you raising up your hand to hit your wife just because she yelled at you, and you raise up your hand. That's not the way of doing things. That's not the way. Of, that's not. That's not how you go about things. You know. Mm. You Amen. calm things down. You break things down. Amen. You calm the situation down. You talk to her. You love her. Bring her close. Bring her to your arms. Hold her. What do you think, baby? Absolutely right. I think what what you just said about bringing Christ Christ into into the martyr is exactly what many believers need to do. So basically, we need to embody the nature of Christ, and that will help us know how to respond unto each other. The man will know how to respond unto the woman, and the woman will know how to respond unto the man. If only we can just study the nature of Christ. If only we can just spend more time in god's word to know christ and then become christ um as you said then we begin to see each other from the eyes of love from the eyes of christ right and that's exactly what god wants us to do for us to um love each other from that place of um where christ would love us from 
right? That's exactly what the Lord wants us to do. And then we know how to respond to each other. And then we know how to love each other. And then we know how to help each other. And then we know how to carry each other the exact same way that Christ would. Amen. Amen. So we, we, um, many of you that are waiting to go into marriage need to begin to learn these things and practice these things. You see, sometimes God will put you in a situation where you're living with friends or you're living with family because he's using that place, that platform to train you on, on how to control your tongue, yes. on how to control your speech. Many of you are so quick and so fast to react when somebody says something to you where you're living. God is placing you in where you are so that he can use those things to test you and to train you and help you become better at responding to people. So when you go into a kingdom marriage... Then you begin to, um, out of what you've learned and, you know, how to speak. Then you know how to speak to your spouse. Then you know how to speak to people. Many of you are too hot-tempered. Yeah. You know, God wants you to have a quiet and a calm spirit. God wants you to be humble with your, um, you know, character. God wants you to be gentle with your words. As Ephesians 4 verse 2 says, it says um, that we should be um, um, gentle unto, unto the other and lovingly accept each other. Regardless of what this person has done or what this person has said to you, you need to accept that person. You need to um, go to that person with love and say, this is what you've done that I don't like. Why is this thing this way? Yes. Why have you done this? Yes, you yes, know, that's there true. were times that, that you know, you know, when um, the Lord restored myself and my husband, I found out things that he did. But I didn't start screaming at him. I didn't start yelling at him like, how dare you? Why did you? You don't. Da, da, da. No, no, no. That's not how God wants us to do things. I sat down with my husband and I said, this, this, this. That this was the best we, to do. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's what Christ would do, right? Yes. Just quietly sit down with, with your uh, husband or with your wife and say, what you've done, this is not what I want. I don't like this. Why did you do this this way? And how can we begin to work together? I want to fight with you to get through this thing. I want us to overcome this thing, right? That's how God wants you to, to, to do things. And those of you that are married already, that, that are in a godly marriage, this is exactly what the Lord wants you to do. Ladies, I want to focus on you for a minute. Many of us are so loud and quick to speak um, to our husbands. When you find out something, no, calm down, be quiet. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. The Holy Spirit is not loud. The Holy Spirit is soft and quiet and calm so we need to embody the nature of christ embody the nature of the holy spirit because many of the problems that um arise in the married uh, home starts from the women the women mostly the women most the, the men have their own issues too okay but ladies if we just know how to control our tongue and not be so quick to spark and so quick to respond or or so quick to react to what our husbands have said or what they've done or what they haven't done then maybe things will be a bit better in the home. Maybe God's peace will, you know, um, overflow in your home. God's joy and God's love, there will be unity and harmony. So let's learn to control our tongue. Let's learn to be humble. Let's learn to be gentle with each other we, and to be gentle with our words, regardless of what is going on in our spouse's life. Let's learn to be loving unto the other and lovingly accept each other. So that's the word that we have for you all today. Do you want to add anything else? Yes, um, I would like to say this. Um, you know, um, we are different from the people of the world. Amen. Okay? We are different from the people of the world. That's true. So that's why um, we, we need to invite the Holy Spirit in our life. Not Amen. only our life, in our marriage as Amen. well. So when you invite the Holy, Spirit, the Holy Spirit into your home, into your marriage, you find out that things will work out differently. And things Amen. will work out the way you want it to be. Amen. If you want to have a good home, a home where there's peace, home where there's love, and a home where there's no uh, uh, um, quarrel, where there's no fights, yeah. you need to work with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. And by the time you work with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, He will help you. He's going to help you. That's what the Bible says. He's our comforter. He's always there to comfort us. And our helper, yeah. And he's our helper too. Yeah. He's always there to help us in every way. Amen. In our life, Amen. in our marriage, yeah. in our home, in our family. Amen. 
It's the only way you don't invite the Holy Spirit into your home. That is the only way you start having problems. That is the only way you start finding fault in your, in your marriage. You start finding fault in a man like, Oh, I don't know you are like this. I don't know. Oh, I suppose I know you're this. I suppose I know you're this way. Oh, I would have not married you. I would have not got into this marriage. No. No. That's not the way things are supposed to go. That's not the way things are supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You know? So that's why you need to invite God. When you find any lack in your husband or the man, when you find any lack in your wife, what you need to do, call your wife. Sit up down. Speak to her. Talk to her. She's your wife. God drain you both together for a reason mm-hmm. and for a purpose. You know, love her. Love her the way Christ will love you. Amen. Never you raise up your hand to hit her. Never you shout on her. Respect her. Respect her for who she is. Amen. And vice versa, then, you know, for the women yeah, too. Yeah, for the women too. You the need to respect thing. your husband. Amen. Amen. You need to give them that same respect. Mm. You know, be humble, be calm. Amen. By the time you start doing all those things, you will not find out that you have a lovely home, a lovely marriage, you know, a lovely family together. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I agree with what you um, said, um, your last point about, you know, um, um, you know, inviting the Holy Spirit and just having the Holy Spirit come and take center place in, in the marriage because, I mean, the fruits of the Spirit is a, 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 a peace, a joy, love, and all of those things, right? And the Holy Spirit is the spirit of peace the holy spirit is the spirit of joy the holy spirit is the spirit of love yeah that is god's spirit okay and all of these wonderful things are in the holy spirit and comprise of the holy spirit so if we um invite the holy spirit like you said and walk with the holy spirit engage with the holy spirit in our marriage then we are definitely um on on a route to have um a peaceful marriage a loving marriage and a joyful marriage as long as we continue to fellowship with the holy spirit right yes, yes praise god praise yes. god so we pray that this word has been a blessing to somebody today and we pray that you have learned something and um we will um speak with you all very soon again and we're going to be going live in a few days and it's also going to be on kingdom marriages it's going to be a live q and a and we're going to be um just just telling a bit about our restoration um our story a little bit um to encourage some of you so until next time you all we will we will um see you soon if if, if anyone here has not given their lives to jesus please say this prayer of salvation with with us today this is the end time god loves you so much draw near unto jesus christ because he is the way the truth and the life lord jesus i come to you today i believe that you died for me and you were raised up on the third day i confess you as lord and savior and i accept you today i receive your holy spirit into my spirit i declare i am born again in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Well done on saying that prayer. Please get a Bible if you haven't got one. And I pray um, that God will continue to strengthen you on your new work of faith in the mighty name of Jesus amen. Christ of Nazareth. For all those that want to tie it into the ministry to sow a seed or to give unto the ministry or to be a part of Operation Reach Out, Lift Up, you can do so using the links in the bar below. Your seeds and your tithes and your offerings have been a blessing unto this ministry. And we thank you all so much and we pray for you that luke 6 38 is your portion psalm 126 verse 1 to 6 is your portion in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we pray that god will open the windows of heaven and pour down a blessing and overflowing and outpouring blessing upon your life, upon your finances Amen. in Jesus' name. And we prophesy a three-day financial miracle. Amen. As I did already in the video yesterday, it will happen for somebody Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ of Nazareth. If you believe in the word of God, God will definitely perform because God's word, because God holds, holds onto his word. He doesn't let his word go, except it goes to come to um, accomplish what he sends it to his word doesn't just go and fall to the ground for nothing no god will send his word out and that word has to come back um into your life um with the results in jesus name Amen. so god bless you all and please subscribe if you haven't done that already we love you all so much and remain blessed surely god's, god's goodness, goodness and mercy shall, shall follow us all, all the, the days, days of our, our lives, lives.
and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.